You're welcome once again to Excellent Simplified Tutorial. And today we're going to be considering BCH313, which is Enzymology. And we're going to be looking at the topic Zymogen Activation. Now, what actually is a zymogen? A zymogen is also called a proenzyme and it is an inactive precursor of an enzyme. A zymogen requires a biochemical change for it to become an active enzyme. So overall, any enzyme in its inactive state that requires activation for it to carry out its specific function is called a zymogen. What this means is that a zymogen in that inactive state cannot carry out its catalytic function until it is activated. So in this topic, we are going to be looking at how we can activate an inactive enzyme, which is a zymogen. What mechanisms can we use to activate these inactive enzymes? Now, before we look at the mechanisms of activation of zymogens, let's look at some examples of zymogens. Now, some of the examples of zymogens are trypsinogen. And trypsinogen, when activated, will be converted to trypsin. Chymotrypsinogen, when activated, will become chymotrypsin. Pepsinogen, when activated, will become pepsin. What of prothrombin? Prothrombin will be activated to thrombin. Other examples of zymogens are plasminogen, which when activated becomes plasmin. Procaspases, which when activated becomes caspases. Proelastase, which when activated becomes elastase. Proinsulin, which when activated becomes insulin. Now, if you notice very well, the zymogens, the proenzymes, the inactive enzymes, always have their words, their, their spelling ending with ogen or starting with pro. Now, take this. Any enzyme ending with ogen, O-G-E-N, or starting with pro, P-R-O, is an inactive enzyme. So, zymogens always end with ogen or always starts with pro. Now let's look at the mechanisms of zymogen activation. From the image shown on your screen, you can see three main mechanisms of zymogen activation represented as A, B, and C. Now, from mechanism A, you can see, okay, that cycle at the middle, you are looking at, you can see the active enzyme. And also you can see three zymogen so the one at the center is the active enzyme we are looking at how we can convert these zymogens into the active enzyme so the three main mechanisms the first one they are represented as a that are a zymogens can be converted to the active form by inducing a conformational change in structure of the substrate binding site if you check that diagram very well, you will see that the, the, the structure, the shape of the substrate binding sites have been changed. So in the zymogen, it is the, the, the substrate binding site is represented as a rectangle. But for it to become active, it is changed from that rectangle to a circle. So that's one mechanism of zymogen activation. The shape of the substrate binding site can be changed, can be changed so that it becomes active. Remember, for an enzyme to catalyze a particular reaction, the substrate must fit into the enzyme's active site. So, the first mechanism, the substrate binding site, the shape of the substrate binding site is changed, as can be seen in the diagram, as a rectangle changing into a circle. For the second mechanism, mechanism B, 
it requires a conformational change of the catalytic apparatus site. So, the catalytic apparatus is changed. In the diagram, that is represented as a rectangle changing into a triangle. So, that is another mechanism of zymogen activation, changing the structure of the catalytic apparatus. The third mechanism represented as C. As you can see, the shape of the substrate binding site and the catalytic apparatus is the same from that of the zymogen and the active enzyme. But there is an occlusion, there is something that is covering the zymogen so that substrate cannot bind. So the another mechanism of activating zymogen is by removing that occlusion and removing the occlusion that is obstructing the binding of the substrate to its site. So for this to be activated, for it to be activated, enzymes will act on it to break that occlusion so it becomes active. So these are the three main mechanisms of zymogen activation. To summarize that, I said the first mechanism, you are changing the shape of the substrate binding site. The second mechanism, you are changing the shape of the, the catalytic apparatus. And the third mechanism, you are removing any occlusion on the zymogen so it becomes active. Now the big question comes, why are enzymes synthesized in their inactive form? Now, enzymes are synthesized in their inactive form as a safety mechanism to prevent auto digestion. Okay, just take for example, fibrinogen, of course it's ending with ogen, so you should know it's a zymogen, it's inactive. When activated to fibrin, it initiates blood clotting. Guess what will happen? if the fibrin was produced from the onset even when there is no injury that is just guess what will happen if the enzyme is produced in its active form we know that fibrin is involved in blood clotting it means blood clotting can be taking place in our system even if there is no injury so enzymes are synthesized in their inactive form as zymogens or proenzymes as a safety mechanism and are only activated when needed and they are activated through the mechanisms we've looked at. Please, if you have any question, drop it in the comment section and I'll be sure to respond to them. And please, if you've gained value, if you learned something from this video, please like and subscribe. Subscribe. And also, don't forget to attend our physical tutorials. Thanks for watching. See you in our next video.